Why would divine give you any gifts <clears throat> if you can't endure simple and petty shit? If your motivation for your knowledge is off the basis of how things affected you, which makes your decision personal. Why would divine give you um any gifts? Why would he allow you to understand the universal energy? You have heinous in your heart. So this is why the world puts you through shit. They want you to be, they want you to feel like them so you miss out. But see, this is this is the fail safe right here. Everybody want to turn their back on you. But when you only got the divine to lean on, man, it's a grace with that. It's a peace, a stillness. And for the most part, you never know the exact direction where things going to come. That's where the faith comes in at. What is the faith? The faith in that you have a contract, a faith that as long as you do not overdo yourself within life, you can clear your mind enough to be open for something else. And see, you know why that goes over everybody's head? Because people don't got patience. Moreover than that, most people don't know what they're waiting for. Especially if you never put it to the test in the first place. Like if you never sat down and had to deal with the fact of not having, right? Just, all right, I'm losing right now. You dig what I'm saying? Like you're losing and you have to lose and complete. And then move on with your life with after that fact. You don't know what that feel like to get through that. Most people don't want to get through nothing. They be like, nah, I'm not going through this. I'm not going through that. Well, you know what's going to happen subsequently? Your body and time that delegates agenda is going to allow you to be in that circumstance anyway. There's nothing you can do about that. This is energies. It's either you can deal with it when it comes, or you can pass it off, lie to yourself, and deal with it when you're less adequate. Unbeknownst to me, I was going to be dealing with things immediately. And that was the opportunity for me to get the chance to learn. To see, to use the different things that are given to me and given to everybody in some attribute. And strengthen these muscles so therefore it becomes more visible. Lack thereof of things I just can't do normally. The senses, the connection, the physical makeup, like people, they sell themselves short, like real easy because you're so used to being in the rhetoric of conversation about humanity. That means everything that comes with being a, a human. You're so used to doing that, having those type of conversations. You don't see the magnificence of just being you. And sometimes we dirty a car so much, we don't look at it as something of value anymore until somebody else gets that car and hook it up. And when they hook that car up, it's like, damn, I should have kept that shit. See, life worked the same way. You never know what's good until you, you fuck it up. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, some people are just fucking shit up on purpose because they know how good it is. See, this world of contrast that we live in, no matter what side you choose, it's a lesson to be learned. And eventually you're going to come through the right way. All water goes down the same drain. <laughs> but you might have two parts that's spinning into the, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it is what it is. A double-edged sword going to cut regardless. Even though it's, you know what I'm saying? Sharp on both sides. <coughs> <coughs> You know, and it gets to the point in my head, it's like, yo, 
why even why even get why even keep saying anything why say anything why keep putting the knowledge out well the reason why i put the knowledge out is because when i remember when i didn't have a lick of none of this shit brothers that had this energy came to me and they guided me when i ain't know nobody when i was lost and i was in places i ain't know what was gonna happen i remember one time something was gonna happen to me and niggas surrounded niggas is like nah ain't touching him he god that shit was powerful i think i was like 16 17. i had brothers i didn't know larger than life big tall niggas that knew the science you know what i'm saying and they'd be like yo <laughs> Piece the prime and real and up in Albany. Prime and real. You know what I'm saying? The brothers had the knowledge. You know, it was deep being able to transcend and watch different cultures come through a circumstance, being a part of your own culture in a deep aspect and watch them rise in knowledge. Like, that shit was crazy. To come from one place to go to another place. I ain't just had knowledge. I was getting cultured through a whole bunch of different situations. I traveled a lot as a kid. Well, as a as a teenager, I would say. And I went through a lot of things too as a young person. A lot of heinous things. And all those things I went through subsequently taught me how to treat people. Because the 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 goosebumps I would get from that treatment, the feeling I would get from that, I would it would download in my head like, why would you want anybody to feel like that? How could you say you love someone and you treat somebody like this? It's like the world. It's like certain people that are close to you do you the worst to prepare you for what the world isn't. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 like that. You know what I mean? So it's like, I hope he be the monster. You can be a monster. But what's the purpose? Unless a monster is needed. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes people want a monster to come out because it's it's not rational. Then you can describe and point the finger and label and then discredit. That's what this world been doing for a long time. Discredit it. Trying to kill a value. You'll never kill a value of truth and the divine. You might hide from a lot of things, but you're not going to kill a value of truth. It's going to always show his face and you're going to get tired of seeing his face. You're going to look at it and be like, oh, I'm mad because it looked good again. <laughs> I'm mad because it's still there. I'm mad because you got to work that out within yourself. Why are you having an infinity towards negative energy that allows you to think manipulative? That's the question in itself. It has nothing to do with, like, people don't even look at that shit. They don't say, yo, why are you even thinking like that? A motherfucker be quick to say how they feel about somebody and describe them lack thereof of whatever information. My nanny used to tell me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing. <laughs> and that's, how, that's how it is with me. Like, if I ain't got nothing nice to say to somebody, I'm just not going to say nothing to you. Period. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if you say something to me and I feel some type of way, I'm probably going to let you know how I feel. You know what I mean? So I don't pose energy. I'm too busy trying to feel and hear what the divine want me to do for him every day. With whether that be within myself or for someone else. Look, the work is constant. You are a student and a teacher of your own life. And you need to take control of that. So therefore you can catch up with your grade point average for yourself. Right, know the vibes. Naga.